So first of all, uh, Tony, what attracted you to getting involved with Krampus? I'd never heard of this Krampus dude, and uh, <laughs> and it's a pretty fascinating celebration of this ancient folkloric demonic pagan hooved uh, nightmarish character who will basically terrorize you at Christmas time if you've been bad through the year. Much in the same way that Santa will reward you with gifts. If you've been bad, this guy's not who you want to run into. Um, and so there was that element, but also I'd ne just never read anything like this. It starts out as a, a kind of, you know, a witty family comedy, um, you know, with, with the feeling of like a John Hughes movie and then swiftly moves into something so completely different. And I, I like to be surprised. I like it. I like, you know, I, I like the fact that it kind of jumps around and I, as an audience member, I like that too. Um, are you able to watch the film back without getting scared or because you're in it, does that change it for you? I don't like scary movies. I can only watch the ones I've been in because I know what's going to happen and I was there and it's not scary. Um, was it in any way a challenge to sort of connect with the role? I mean, there's a very big humanity to her. She's a woman, she's a mother concerned about her children, her family, everything like that when everything else is going on and all the craziness is happening. Um, it was... I mean, she's a complete control freak is what she is. Um, yeah, she's the matriarch. She uses Christmas as an opportunity to kind of force her family to be together. I think, you know, she's a white wine guzzling, uh, Valium popping, uh, anal uh, perfectionist. And <laughs> that was fun. And I think, you know, what she learns is to let go. And she finds, you know, in a way she almost, it's almost like she has a spiritual awakening. She sees something so unbelievable that it just, everything else falls away. And she just becomes this kind of warrior. Uh, apart from Krampus, obviously, what would you say is your favorite Christmas movie? I don't know. People have been asking me this today. I don't tend to watch I mean, I remember watching Christmas specials and, you know, little cartoons and stuff as a kid, but um, I don't, every year I don't watch, you know, like Miracle on 34th Street or It's a Wonderful Life. I've seen those movies and I like them, but I, I don't kind of have that tradition. You have the film Unlocked coming up. Yeah. Uh, what was it like working on that and what is it like working with uh, Michael Douglas and John Malkovich? I didn't work with either of those men. However, I did work with Michael Apted, <laughs> who's a legend and such a gentleman, and he was so easy going so much to the you know so much so that when I first arrived um, in Prague I went to have what I thought was going to be a rehearsal with him I had a 10 minute wardrobe fitting this woman was amazing so everything just was perfect and then um, he looked at me and said so you know what you're doing don't you and I went uh yeah and that was it <laughs> and then I turned up on set and he was much more kind of nuanced and involved obviously um, but I really did it to work with him because I I just think he's he's incredible um, at this stage, do you still ever find yourself getting starstruck when you get on the set? I mean, we've just had Kate Blanchett tell us that she was starstruck working with Robert Redford, so... Yeah, of course, it happens. I mean, you admire people's work, and and then when you m meet them, it's, it takes a minute to kind of shift into just being, you know, two people working together. Um, so it does happen, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!